Welcome into another episode of the Better Half Hour. I'm your host, Alex Monaco. You know how we do it. I'm always looking for trends. I'm looking for angles. I'm trying to put some shekels in your pocket. Can we go to Pizza Suprema for a pie? We'll find out. Come on over here to the monitor. We are going to get in to the highly anticipated Western Conference Finals between the Dallas Mavericks and the Golden State Warriors. Game one kicks off in Golden State, and we know this is a phenomenal rematch of what it has been called the We Believe Warriors all the way back in 07. If you remember, it was the Dirk one seed and the Mavericks, and it was Baron Davis and company, and the Warriors upset the Mavericks, and they are looking for a rebuttal coming in. Dallas has won three of four in the regular season, two of three the previous year, and they have done tremendous against this Warriors team. We do know that the Warriors in game ones, though, in the playoffs are almost unbeatable. They've won 14 of their last 15 game ones. But the Mavericks come out as underdogs, very prominent, very strong. They've won the first quarter in their last four games as underdogs, and they've covered the spread in seven of the last eight as underdogs against the Warriors. So not only have they won, but they have covered as dogs, impressively enough. But the Warriors are an incredible home team, and they were the third best home cover against the spread this season at home, four and two against the spread in the playoffs. As you see right here, five and a half is the line on DraftKings. Now, the Mavs have not covered game one in either series. The Jazz series, they didn't cover. Bad beat with the Dinwiddie missed three in game one against the Suns. So we know they are very good at coming out not so strong, but making mid-series Jason Kidd adjustments. Mavs three and four straight up on the road in the playoffs. The Warriors are undefeated at home, six and oh, and they've covered, as I mentioned, four of those six games. And being favored in every game this playoffs, they are eight and three. Now, Luca on a player prop thought has made four or more three pointers in nine of his last 10 road playoff games. So pay attention to the overs on threes if you want. He's had 35 plus in six of his last eight playoff appearances as Mavs road underdogs. Got to shout out Curry, 29 plus in each of his last Warriors, five home games in the playoffs, averaging 26.9 this run. Let's flip the page and talk a little puck because it's Rangers game night, baby. Let's go. They move on after an unbelievable comeback against the Penguins down 3-1, down multiple games, multiple times, crawled their way back on the backs of Igor and the bread man of course with the overtime game winner in game seven and they now go against the Carolina Hurricanes the battle we should call it of the Metropolitan Division now the Hurricanes did win the division they beat the Rangers in two key games down the stretch so we do have to go to their place but we know this is a resilient bunch an incredibly versatile group of men that will not quit now the Hurricanes they love that they have home ice because they did not win one game against the Bruins in the first round. Every home game won that best of seven. And we do know that the home team has won each of the Hurricanes' last eight games. So at the moment, trends are leaning towards Carolina. But the Rangers have covered the puck line 14 of their last 15 games as underdogs coming off of overtime. A great trend there. Both teams have scored at least two goals by the 60-minute mark. Has hit in the last Rangers 11 night games. Now we know it went over, over, and over some more in all seven games of the Rangers series against the Penguins. So firing on the over here at a humble six could be the play and on a player prop. Chris Kreider, the man has been sensational. He's had a goal in his last five games against the Hurricanes. If you're looking for an anytime goal scorer there, let's keep it going. In hockey, we have the Battle of Alberta. That's right. It's the Edmonton Oilers and the Calgary Flames. This is going to be sensational. Oilers down 3-2, came back against the Kings. Shut out the Kings in Game 7 and Game 2. Goalie Mike Smith was superb. The Oilers, of course, led by the star Connor McDavid with 14 points. Evander Kane has 7 goals and Dreisaitl with 9 points. So a very versatile Edmonton club coming in. Flames were down 2-1, went up 3-2, and took 2 games to close out the Dallas Stars. As we know, incredible goalkeeping in that match as well. Now the Flames, a lot more balance. Johnny Hockey, 8 points this playoffs. Matthew 
Kachuk with six, but this Flames team who comes in pretty hot, they've won the first period in five of their last six games against opponents on a winning streak, and the over of one and a half goals in the first period has hit in five of the last six between these two. Let's switch to the diamond. We got the red hot Yankees against the Orioles. Yankees won game one. And the second one, this is five straight now against the Orioles. Absolutely cooking. Aaron Judge grabbed the gavel if I could. Two homers, almost three. He's got 14 on the regular season. He's cooking. Give him the contract. Pay the man. Garrett Cole on the mound. He's been phenomenal in his last four starts. 1-4-2 ERA. Yankees 5-0 and oh in Cole's last five. As a starter, and the Orioles have lost their 12 Wednesday games against the AL East. Not much to say here. The Orioles 12-58 and 58 in their last 70 versus a team winning over 600. This team still doesn't have double digits and losses. And real quick, we're staying in New York. We are going to the Cardinals at the Mets. The Cardinals. Doubleheader yesterday, they split Hicks on the mound for the cards. His ERA is given up at the last five starts. Not great. He's given up two or more runs in four straight, and we got Scherzer on the hill, 4-1 with a 266 ERA. He's already pitched incredibly well against this Cardinals team. He threw a gem against them, seven innings, 10 Ks, only allowed two hits and no runs. The Mets have won each of their last 12 games following a loss. They're also 21 and 12 as the favorite Cardinals, 10 and nine as the dog. That's how we kick off the show. We got an action pack one for you. Don't go anywhere here on the Better Half Hour.